Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. Welcome to Saturday Morning Makes. I'm so glad you're all here with me today. I want to say hello to Annette and uh, Anna and Sue and Patty and Elise and uh, Gigi, Tina, Tina, Felicia, everybody that's out there, Klom in England, um, Kelly, uh, everybody that um, watches from Italy and the UK and all over the world. It's just wonderful to be here with everybody this morning. I've already seen a bunch of projects over on Instagram um, from a bunch of you and I've already I'm seeing little videos pop up on YouTube. I think Elise already uploaded so I'm excited to go see everything. Um, I have possibly a torn rotator cuff in my primary arm you guys and uh, I'm just I'm really struggling with creating so I just want to put that out there. I do have some stuff to share um, with you today. I didn't make any of it this morning. Um, I did it over the course of the whole week. Um, I have been down this week uh, at home a lot because I literally, I can't move my arm. <laughs> so anyway, I'm still going to try and share stuff with you guys, but just be aware. I don't know if I'm going to have to have a surgery or if this is going to heal. I'm still finding out. But um, just be patient if you don't see videos from me as often, that is why. Um, so I do have a bunch of things to share. And uh, I wanted to first thank Diane Duda again of Studio Duda Art. Um, this is one of the things that I ordered from her. Um, I just thought this was beautiful. It says, spread love, save the world. And uh, I think that's what the world needs now more than anything Um we need to treat people with love and that means everybody and uh i i hope as a country we can come together and uh start doing that for so many different reasons for culturally with different nationalities politically i mean i really think our country is needing help so <laughs> i saw this and it just inspired me i think it's absolutely beautiful um, Gigi, I know you'll love that it's like almost like a bee print on here with the little wings and stuff. I just think it's so beautiful. And look at the little antennas. See that? Isn't that adorable, you guys? Here, I'll bring it up close so you can see it. But Diane's art always inspires me. Um, it's inspired me so much that I've, the last couple days since I can't do much, I have been drawing a little bit um, because I can hold a pencil. <laughs> So I've been playing around trying to learn how to draw faces and stuff. There's some really great tutorials out on YouTube. So, and then I ordered this one and then didn't she send me one? Look at this one. Oh, I just love that face. This reminds me of one of my little sisters. <laughs> and the name of this one, I love how she, she puts the names on the back. This one's unapproachable. She, ha she has it signed and it says Studio Duda Art. They're on a beautiful, thick um, watercolor cardstock. And uh, at least I believe that's what it is. Uh, Diane, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but I just love this face. So I will frame this and probably put this in my room or something too. Um, and I, I don't know what I want to do with this one. I want to hang it in my craft room, but I, I don't have a lot of wall space down here because I'm in the basement. So I may hang it upstairs in my kitchen or something. But I just think it's beautiful. I absolutely love it. And then this one, just so you know, is called Save the World. So Diane, thank you for including this other one with this. And um, I want to thank you again for the code that you gave all of our, um, everyone to use uh, over the Mother's Day weekend. And uh, this is all of Diane's information and all of her um, websites, etc. And you can pause this and write any of them down that you're interested in going and checking out. So Diane, thank you again for all you shared. I can't wait for you to upload more stamps in your shop and uh, uh, so I can find new things to color. <laughs> um, but I'm going to move these out of the way and keep going. And uh, so I'm going to share a few things, uh, just uh, housekeeping things. Um, a while back, I made a card where I used this little heart die um, as a decoration on the card or a tag. I can't remember. Um, what episode was it? I thought I wrote it down. Now I don't know where I put my note. Anyway, someone had asked me what die set this came from. So the name of the die set is the Stitched Heart Trio. And it is... 
uh, style number 1258 and it's from poppystamps.com. It's from 2015 and I looked this up for you guys because I found this. It is for sale. There are three sets of this die for sale at the Rubber Buggy, which is a stamp company in Oregon that I use sometimes um, and purchase from sometimes. So whoever it was that was asking me about this die and they wanted this die, um, was it you, Patty? I can't remember who asked me, but whoever it was that asked me, I just wanted to show this to you so that you could um, go, go and try and find it. And there are, like I said, three copies as of 6.15 this morning <laughs> at therubberbuggy.com, okay? So I just wanted to let you guys know that and um, so that if you wanted that die, you could try and get it. And then I wanted to give a shout out and a thank you to Craft Stash because um, I had ordered this die set, or I'm sorry, this stamp set from them specifically because I loved this herb um, jar and these just the different jars that are in here especially and from a gardening standpoint I liked both of these snips and uh, the watering can and um, I had ordered this stamp set with my papers that I showed you guys in a previous video and they sent me this stamp set um, twice now incorrectly and so they finally sent the right one and uh, they had to do it twice so before they got me the right stamp set so I just wanted to thank them for persevering and sending it to me um, I'm very excited to play with this I was hoping to have a card ready for you today using some of those herb papers that I showed you but um, I haven't obviously had time to do that yet um, so that was one of the other things I wanted to just uh, share and then I know that a lot of you guys um, uh, Jennifer, who's Strawberry Cream 39, she does a Friday video every week uh, where she shares things that she's purchased. So that's part of why I'm sharing some of this stuff with you guys. Just to, um, I don't know if you're interested. Are people interested in seeing? So let me know that in the comments. But this is a set of beads that I saw and I wanted this shape. I am working on some um, bracelets and earrings. And I just thought these were a really neat bead shape. And these come, oh, what did I do with the envelope now? I took them out so I could show you guys. Uh, they come from a company, I think it's called eaglebeads.com. Let's see if I can show this to you without giving away my address. So this is the company eaglebeads.com. Oh, and you have a piece of my hair in there. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so if you're interested, that's where I got these beads. I don't know if he has more or not, but um, I just thought these were really beautiful. So, okay. Um, so I wanted to share that because I, I am still working on some jewelry behind the scenes because I, I can do jewelry easier than die cutting right now. Um, and then I ordered, uh, I ran completely out of garment pins and I needed some for the projects I was working on. So I found on Amazon where they had a bag of a thousand bronze colored garment pins. And so I just wanted to show you guys, I ordered those and I really love these little mason jar bottles like this. Um, they're perfect for storing bags of like um, smaller things that you need to keep track of and what's nice is these stack so if you have like three or four different ones with different findings or different things in them um, they stack and can just sit on a shelf in your craft room so I just thought I would show you that <clears throat> all right um, let's move on um, to projects okay so I'm gonna go through really quick one other housekeeping item um, is that my code Jill 15 that Betty from Arala Miha Shop gave us all the way to June 1st, okay, is going to run out over the weekend, um, Memorial Day weekend, it'll be over. So I wanted to just remind you that if you want to use the code, you still have a few days left. And the information is on episode 13 of Saturday Morning Makes, and there are links there also. Um, but it explains uh, all the rules regarding the code. I think you have to spend $2 or more USD and it can apply to any other sales that are going on in her shop currently. So it's for 
15% off the full price items that are in her shop, essentially. So uh, this is one of the papers that I just love, um, and I just thought I would put that on there just to remind you guys. And then I'm gonna move into the products that I used for what I'm gonna show you today. Um, this is a paper from Shabby Art Boutique. Um, it's from a couple months ago, and I can't remember the name of the, oh, I can't remember the name right now, but Shabby Art Boutique is a wonderful um, kit club. Uh, she does monthly releases. She also has an Etsy shop, and I will link some information in the comment area of this video, but I use this beautiful strawberry paper um, for what I'm gonna show you today. I did a strawberry theme. I am just, my berries are alive in the garden. I've got strawberries that are gonna um, start redding up very soon and uh, tons of blueberries, blackberries, etc., growing, and I just love berries. I don't know about you guys, but when we were kids, berries were a big deal because you, you only really had them seasonally. It's way different now. Here in this day and age, we, we fly stuff from all over the world all the time, and, and we can have berries almost any time of the year, either frozen or fresh. And, but when I was a kid, summertime and berries was a big deal, and I think that's part of the reason why so many of us are attracted to berries. But anyway, I was in the mood to play with a particular dye that I have, and uh, I'm gonna show you what I created. And I did use this beautiful paper um, from Shabby Art Boutique. So thank you very much for that paper. And then I'm gonna show you the rest of the products really quick, okay? I made a card this week with this beautiful stamp set from Amuse Art Stamp. It's called Stitched Garden, and you know how much I love anything with stitching. And I, this was one of the very first stamp sets I ever purchased from a Muse Art stamp. And like I said, they were in my neighborhood. Their brick and mortar store was here for many years, and uh, they're no longer there anymore. But um, uh, their company is still there. Their web company is still there, but uh, the brick and mortar store is not in my neighborhood anymore. But um, I've had this stamp set for a long, long time, and it's still a favorite. So I made a card with that, and I'll share that with you. Um, I use this Julie Nutting um, paper pad. I use this blue paper in here. Um, this one is called Frayed Denim. I, I, tons of people have shown this. I even think Jennifer showed it, Strawberry Cream 39. But um, I do love the papers in this pad, especially because there's ginghams and florals. Um, it's just, and there's really small prints. I love small florals, which can be a harder thing to find for card making. And um, so anyway, I've had this for a while and I finally broke the seals on this. And uh, I hope to use that a little bit more in the coming weeks. Um, my Craft Spot, uh, you've seen me share this before. They're no longer in business, but this is a Tiny Tig stamp set that I was using. And then this is a series of stamps from Paper Tray Ink called, um, it's the Hills series. And those of you that have been stamping for a long time, you know that um, back in the day, Stampin' Up! had a woodblock uh, stamp set series with like uh, the four seasons um, of different house scenes. And this, this stamp set kind of reminds me of that Stampin' Up! set, but uh, Paper Tray added lots of other things to it. Um, so they've got little sheep and different things. So this is a series of stamps. There's like Spring Hills, Autumn Hills. I'll show you the name here on the side if you can see it. So Spring Hills, there's Autumn Hills, Winter Hills, I forget. But I have the series and um, I use these quite frequently. Beautiful sentiments in here. You can pause the video and read them if you want to. But um, if you even can because I've got paper behind there and some of mine are actually getting faded because I use them so much. But anyway, I did use uh, the spring one to make a card. Um, as I said, I was working on berry things, and this is my very favorite berry dye. Um, smaller tag-sized berry dyes are very hard to find. Like, I don't know why we don't have a raspberry tag dye and a blueberry tag dye, and I just think it would be so cute to have a blueberry one with like a little fringe on the bottom, how sometimes blueberries have that little fringe. Um, depending on the variety of blueberry, a raspberry one that maybe is embossed with the dimples of a raspberry. Um, but it's very, very hard, at least in my opinion, to find uh, tag dyes for berries. And we all make jam and we give berries from our garden to people and it would be so nice to have tags. So I definitely wanted some strawberry tags to use um, 
for that purpose. Um, and I was fiddling around trying to make a blueberry tag too, and I'll show you that. But this is a dye from, um, uh, it's a doohickey dye. So it's from Magnolia Tilda. Um, and I think when I originally purchased this, it was either, I might've gotten this at the rubber buggy. I don't know. I'm not sure where I purchased it originally, but um, this is their strawberry dye set. And then this is another one of their dyes, which um, they also have a strawberry leaf set with a flower, but I had this dye already and I thought it would work. So I didn't purchase that one because unfortunately their dyes are very expensive, probably become, because they're coming from Europe to the US, um, which makes me sad too, because I really love their dyes. And I do have some of their box sets and different things over the years that I've collected and I, I was going through them and I think I'm going to try and pull them out. Um, I took them out to look at them and I'm going to try and do some Saturday morning makes projects with them. So anyway, the, that is what I worked with this week. And then I also used some of these, I pulled out and was going through my dies cause I'm trying to downsize some stuff. And, uh, I pulled this die, which is called the lace chain border. This was from tailored expressions. I'm not sure if it's still available. And then this die, which has little flowers connected with these little um, pieces. And this one's called the Flower Chain Border. It's number B132, and this is a Cherry Lynn Designs border die. So um, I encourage everyone to get their border dies out. I, I, I know we a lot of you probably have them, and we don't always remember to use them. So I'll show you how I use those in my projects. And then um, I used, of course, the Crazy Stitch die set from Anna White at Impression Obsession. Um, Mitra Friant, I was reading a little bit more about Impression Obsession. Um, I hadn't read about them in a while, but um, I just want to say hello to Mitra. And if that's how you say your name, um, it might be Mitra. I don't know. Um, but uh, I just love Impression Obsession's products and all that they bring to the crafting community. So a shout out to them. Um, I use this die here, which needs to be cleaned up still. Uh, this one is from Crafters Companion. Someone gifted this to me, like a series of these or something, and I had never used them and I felt guilty. So <laughs> um, part of what I'm doing with Saturday Morning Makes is trying to use my stash. So this one is called Garden Party and let's see, it's about 5.7 inches by 2.75. And I don't know, does it have any, uh, it doesn't really have a number to it. So, and I don't know if this is still available because again, it's a few years old. And then I did use my Cherry Lynn Design oval dies. Okay, so the scalloped and then the regular. All right, so those are all the products that I used and now, we can get on to the projects. Okay, so I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way if I can with my good hand. Uh, okay, and I'm gonna start pulling projects in. Okay, so first of all, with that Amuse Studio stamp set, I just did a little coloring. Uh, one of the days um, when I wasn't doing as good, I just stamped a couple things onto just a piece of, uh, I just die cut a little scalloped, um, piece of cardstock in white and then I just stamped the fence and the bird and then I hand drew in all the rest of this and just colored with Copic markers and and then I added the sentiment a little note so um, just a really simple card uh, this is just some of the Dollar Tree string that you get um, it comes in bundles like this and I needed it for my garden but I didn't need three rolls of it for my garden. So I took one outside and then I've been using the other two in my craft room. Sometimes you have to kind of pull some of the, the frayed stuff off of it to get it to look good enough to put on your card. But um, I do like the texture of it. So, so that is my first card, my first make, if you will. And then, um, let's see. This is the card that I created using that Beautiful Hills series from Paper Tray Ink, and this one is called Spring Hills. And I love just having cards like this. This one I didn't add a sentiment to. I could always put a welcome up here if I wanted to use it to welcome someone to the neighborhood. But um, what's nice about having cards that don't have sentiments on them is you can use them for almost anything. And uh, it's nice too to have things like this because they can be masculine or feminine. And um, with Father's Day coming, I thought this would be a nice um, 
you know, a nice card to have uh, on hand. So, and you can see I used a bit more of that trim from the Dollar Tree. So I did those two cards. Um, and these I was going to share Wednesday, you guys, but I just wasn't up to doing a video, so I apologize. And then I had also done this little chocolate one. I don't think I've shared this with you guys, but this is a little polka doodles image that I have. And uh, it says, cheer up, we have chocolate. <laughs> and then on the inside, there's this adorable cake with the cherries on top. And uh, I just thought that was so sweet. I think this would be really fun to enlarge this image and just do it as a birthday card. So I might do that next. So that's just a polka doodles thing. And uh, so let's see. And then, so those are the three cards uh, that I wanted to share. And now I'm gonna get into kind of what I really did for today. Um, so my whole thing today was to do strawberries. And um, I specifically wanted a bunch of strawberry tags as well as some cards. So um, I'm going to show you uh, what I came up with. Some of them are glittered and some of them are, are not. And uh, this sweet dye is so much fun from Magnolia. I love how Magnolia adds little details like these little hearts. And over here there's three little dots that are open. And this is a, a tag set where it, it's helpful to cut it twice. And then I glued, oh, this needs to be cleaned up on the back. I don't think I do have my eraser down here. It's probably upstairs. Um, anytime you have glue residue on your stuff though, you can just get it off with an eraser. Um, so anyway, this, I do glue a second stem and a second die cut to the back to make the take a little bit thicker, okay? And that, because of the stem here, you, you definitely wanna do that. It gives the, the tag substance. So um, on these ones, uh, this is that beautiful um, strawberry paper from Shabby Art Boutique. And then this other paper is Crafty Secrets from a very old um, Crafty Secrets printable. And uh, this, or from a, I'm sorry, a CD of theirs that I have. And then these are just some gingham papers. And uh, you can see, I just love how the hearts peek through. And you could even back them with white if you wanted to and you'll see on the card how I did that in a couple spots but um, I just thought these turned out so cute and then each one of them has a garment pin with a tag that says you're so sweet and I just think these turned out so cute this is that twine from the Dollar Tree and then I just attach the garment pin through the knot that I tied at the top so that it can hang down and I thought about even putting a little strawberry on there like if you had a plastic strawberry cabochon or something like that you could add a little um, strawberry to the um, to the tie up here if you wanted to so lots of different ideas were popping through my head but because of my shoulder I, I didn't come down here and explore all my charms before this video um, anyway all right, so um, then I did some that of course are not glittered, that are more um, just kind of shabby and fun, prim. And uh, this one says thanks on it. And uh, these little tag, um, these little tags are all from different companies. I think these ones might be tailored expressions. Some are from MFT, but um, they're all just different shapes. And uh, so I just think that looks so sweet with the twine and uh, these will be so cute. If I'm gonna give fruit to somebody, I can just write a little note and put it on their porch. So that's what these are for. And uh, all of those uh, didn't take me too long to create those, but I also made a few cards. And I wanted to give a little tip to you guys. I don't know how often um, people think to do this, but when I am die cutting um, to make the tags, I generally will take the piece of paper and take the die cut from the middle of the paper and you I, I can actually cut another leaf out of this one in the middle before I'm done but it's these papers with these die cuts taken out that I use to make my cards so this actually is a piece of paper that I die cut the strawberry out of and in this case, I then die cut it again into an oval and I inserted the pink strawberry back into the middle. And I backed the hearts this time with a piece of white cardstock so I could insert some glitter glue in there. 
So, um, and then I just topped it with a little piece of string. Um, and I tucked glitter glue into the hole here too. But um, I do like doing that because then you don't lose the whole piece of paper. I can actually use these on a card if I want to. And um, you can just put a, a square or rectangular piece over this and no one will ever know. So I've done that for years. It saves, it saves a lot of um, waste. Um, and I don't know if other people do that, but I wanted to mention it. There's a lot of new people to card making that watch and uh, I, I've gotten lots of comments saying they appreciate tips. So I hope that helps you guys. Um, so this is another one that I did. And again, these papers both have die cuts out of them. And uh, I just stacked them coming down like a waterfall on the card, sort of. You can see where I tucked that um, border die in right here from Cherry Lynn Designs. And, uh, and then I just stacked two of the berries. I added a little um, bow to each one. I added the You're So Sweet onto the little hole in the uh, top of this strawberry. And uh, I just think this turned out so sweet. And I just love the papers. Um, from both, uh, I think this one, this one might be Irala Miha Shop, this is Shabby Art Boutique, and this one is Crafty Secrets. And Crafty Secrets is on Etsy, so you can find their, um, all of their information on Etsy. Shabby Art Boutique is also on Etsy, but they also just type in Shabby Art Boutique on Google and you'll find it. Um, and uh, I think Sue told me the collection this month is gorgeous. I. I was doing it for a while, you guys, but um, I've got so much going on right now that I just don't even have time to download everything and try and, you know, put it on my computer, save it to my heart, you know, my little disk drive and everything. So I just canceled again. Uh, life is too hectic right now for me. <laughs> but um, I do love her products and I hope when I'm, you know, when things settle down and I'm retired eventually here in a couple more years, um, then I will definitely be able to uh, enjoy doing her um, her digital uh, projects each month or her digital kit each month. So I love how these two strawberry cards turned out. I think they're so sweet. And um, I wanted to show you one other thing in relation to that. I did do a card front too where um, this is another Shabby Art Boutique paper from, uh, from the kit from I think two kits back. Um, and I love this paper. And when you join Shabby Art Boutique, she gives you an opportunity uh, to buy some of the older kits. And there was another kit that I really wanted, but I, at the time that she was doing it, my dad was having surgery and I missed buying it and I was so upset. But um, when I rejoin, hopefully I'll have another opportunity to get it. But um, she does give you an opportunity to go, to go back and buy previous kits when you join. So keep that in mind because this paper and this strawberry paper that I showed you are two of my favorites of hers. I just love this quilted look. So I did make this card um, and I was going to put a strawberry on it and stuff. And then I, I, uh, I was playing around with different things um, and different layouts and then I just my arm was hurting too bad and I had to quit. So <laughs> I'll use it for something eventually. But, um, and then I was gonna show you one other thing. I, I did cut down the strawberry to try and make a blueberry. And blueberries always have, in, at least the ones in my yard, have a little tiny green stem. And uh, they usually have almost like a fluted edge. Some of mine do at the bottom right here. So I was playing around with trying to make it look like a blueberry. And this is where I use that paper um, from that paper pad that I showed you and then it's it's, uh, I backed it with a white piece. So um, I may play around with that a little more. I was, I was uh, looking at maybe doing a card with like a raspberry, a strawberry, and a blueberry. I just think it'd be so fun if you could have all the different berries uh, represented. But the other thing that came to mind is that this could be a pumpkin for Halloween. So you could also cut this down with some orange uh, gingham paper or whatever and you could make pumpkins really easily with this die, you know, just by doing a little cut here. So always play with your dies. You can get more than one look from them for sure. And uh, so that I will close with that and just uh, tell you guys that I hope you have 
um, a lovely Saturday. To everybody that's uploading videos or posting to Instagram, thank you for making it so much fun for me on the weekend to go and look at everything. Um, I think we're all enjoying it from the comments I've received from everyone. And I so appreciate everybody that shares, whether you're on the design designing end where you're making products like Anna White and Marilyn G and so many others, um, or if you're uh, a designer that's using products and giving inspiration to people, most of the time what makes me buy a product, just so companies know, is seeing something that has been made with it. A lot of times I, when I go to Simon Says Stamp or, or scrapbook.com or any of the companies and I go and look at a product, if there is not a sample there, I sometimes won't buy the product. So uh, to all of our design team members out there that, that work for no money, and a lot of you do, not all of you, but for those of you that do, that, that do this just because of your love of crafting and give inspiration to everybody, thank you. Thank you for inspiring me. Jennifer McGuire and, um, oh my gosh, I can't even begin to name everybody. There's so many people that have YouTube channels that design for companies, so thank you. Um, so this is a 30 minute video. I've got to run you guys. <laughs> Enjoy your weekend. And again, thank you for sharing in Saturday morning makes. Bye now.